Hi, this is Pat, and in this video tutorial, we're going to talk about podcasts, particularly a sermon podcast. One of the cool things about Digital Faith is it's so easy to create podcasts, so let's take a look at how this podcast was created. The first thing we'll do is go to our organizational hub, and you can see here the uh, current podcast, and it has two um, sermons in it. I'm going to go ahead and click Edit the Podcast so that you can see some of the fields that we'll be using to uh, create new podcasts. So, uh, let's go back and we'll start by creating a new podcast. So, we'll click on Add Another Publication. And when we do this, we're just going to say uh, Sermon Archive or Sermon Podcast and select the folder that we would like that to appear in. Oh, and let's say When We Worship. And uh, if we want to include it in the navigation, we can. And because this is a podcast, we be, need to be sure to check that this is a podcast uh, UR or checkbox. Then we'll simply create the publication. Because this publication already exists, I'm just going to click Cancel here. Once the publication has been created, uh, you'll end up at your screen like this. And the first thing that you'll want to do is click on the Edit Publication button. And this is going to now show you a number of fields that you can add uh, to get your podcast submitted to the iTunes Store. These are all the fields that we'll need for our podcast. Uh, this podcast title is the title that will appear on the page where our podcast is located. Christ Church, uh, Christ Roanoke Sermon Podcast. And the subtitle is what will appear in the iTunes Store. The next thing is the location of the XML file. Now when you first create your podcast, this will be generated for you by the system, and you'll want to store this for submission into the iTunes Store. This next field is the podcast URL. And this URL you'll receive from iTunes once your podcast has been approved. Now the podcast author, you can enter anything here. It could be the rector or the church. And the contact email, this is the email address that you want to use for correspondence on your podcast and if people have questions. The next is the podcast image URL. And in this example, we're seeing that show up here. And you'll notice that it needs to be 1400 pixels by 1400 pixels in dimension. So that's rather large and you'll probably want to create that with an image editor. Uh, next, you'll want to select the categories that your podcast relates to. Oh, and um, so I'll leave those. And then your podcast, podcast description. This is information that will appear in the iTunes store next to your podcast. To submit your podcast to the iTunes store, just click Submit Your Podcast. That's going to open up the iTunes player and ask you for your podcast feed URL. That's located right here and generated by the system. Simply place, paste the podcast URL in there and click Continue. iTunes is going to scan that URL and configure your podcast, populating the information that you've provided in the previous steps. Simply click Submit to submit your podcast to the iTunes Store. Once your podcast has been submitted, you'll receive an email from iTunes showing you that the podcast was successfully submitted and is under a review. In a couple days, you'll receive another email from iTunes confirming that your podcast has been uh, successfully placed into the iTunes store and you'll receive the URL where the uh, podcast is located. Let's just open that up and take a look. So here we see our image artwork, uh, a couple of the sermons, our description, and details. Uh, people can open that up in iTunes or they can search the iTunes store for that podcast. What you'll want to do now is copy that URL that's been provided by iTunes and place it into the iTunes podcast location and update your podcast. That will add a subscribe button to your site to allow folks to open up the iTunes store and subscribe uh, to iTunes as well as play the podcast directly uh, on your site. So adding articles is really simple now. Just simply click on add a new article, enter the title and the audio URL from 
the upload file. So we'll just copy the URL here and place that URL there and apply a duration for the uh, audio and, oh, let's say sermon uh, September 20th. And now we simply can create that new article and uh, we'll have the additional article automatically added to our uh, podcast area. So working with podcasts can be really cool. It's a great way to distribute your audio sermons. And I look forward to seeing what you can do. Thanks.